G'day guys, Paul here from The Hook and The Cook. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm bringing you some great little recipes which I was lucky enough to go on Escape with ET and do some segments with the great Andrew Edinghausen. Some of these recipes that we're doing are so simple, you can easily do them at home. They're all on the barbecue, so you can just get out there in the backyard and give them a crack. So here you go. Escaping with ET. Well, it's a beautiful morning to be fishing from a Hobie. Today I'm here with a mate, Paul, He's our show chef, and we're chasing dusky flathead. As you can see, plenty of mangroves, lots of oyster racks, so lots of places for those bait fish to hide, and the big predators like flathead to cruise along and ambush those prey. The bait fish at the moment are only very small, so I've started with a bigger soft plastic, and I'll move down to smaller size soft plastics to match that hatch. And hopefully, as the tide starts to really sweep out, we'll pick up some nice flathead. Yeah. Oh, you're on. Oh, that's awesome. Not big. Is it a flathead? I don't know. Yep. Cool. Must have been sitting in that weed, was he? He was, mate. He's got a bit of weed just on his on his noggin. A nice little flathead. Well, there we go. Beautiful little fish. We'll slide him back in. See you, mate. We want something a little bit bigger. Yeah, mate. Yeah, definitely. No fish, no dish. All Pressure's right. on us at the moment. It's up to you. Come on. <laughs> Try Land my a best. good one. Try me best. <laughs> Hey, we're on. You kidding me? You got one? Yeah, feels all right. Is she going on the barbecue? Oh, he's all right. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Legal one? Yeah. Oh, very good. Oh, good stuff. Good on you. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, that'll... Beautiful looking fish. That'll make the grade, mate. There you go, slippery That's handshake. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> all right, let's get cooking. Yeah. Good fishing, good food with the help of your local green grocer, Creo Crush Seasonings, Sandhurst Fine Foods, and the Barbecue and Fireplace Centre, Sunshine Coast. Chef Paul Brahini and I are preparing to show you another great seafood dish. Well, mate, one of my favourite ways to go fishing is to chase flathead. But what are you um, going to do, mate? Today, basically, what we're going to do with, uh, with our flathead, I'm actually going to leave it whole. So I've taken the head off, and we're going to put some salt on there, a little bit of oil, and then pass it through some flour with a little bit of the Creole Crush fish seasoning. We're also serving it with a salad today of watercress from your local greengrocer. I'm going to finish the sauce off, which is a, um, a lemon bernoisette, or a, just a fancy name for a nut brown butter. Then we've also got some preserved lemon. And again, you can get that from Sandhurst. We've also got some artichokes here, and some white asparagus, and some chickpeas. And we've got some fish seasoning here, like I said earlier. So that goes in our flour. A little bit of Creo salt. Absolutely sensational. You know, they make I love some them. great products, Creo, don't they? Oh, they're great, mate. So I'm just going to pat that down. And then we go with some olive oil. Just give that a bit of a pat round. I'm just going to pop that on our grill. And we're lucky here. We're, we're travelling at the moment. So to have a little beef eater barbecue, very handy, just to transport around. Oh, it's great, mate. The guys up your way, isn't it? Up yeah. at Noosa, up on that beautiful Sunshine Coast. The, Barbecue and Fireplace Centre. And of course, your local green grocer. Mate, we're very, very lucky to get these guys on board. So I'm going to get some nice colour on the skin. With the salad, Andrew, we've got some uh, watercress in here. So I'm just going to pile some artichokes in there, just in the middle. Then we've got our white asparagus going on the plate. I'm going to dress it last minute. You should always do that with your salads because if you add any acid to your salad and you add it too early, by the time it gets to the table, it starts to sort of wilt and not look too good on the okay, plate. Yep. So I'm just going to check the fish. We'll flip that over. Beautiful. Yeah, it's looking good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the dressing for the salad. Add a little bit of juice from the chickpeas. OK. And now what I'm going to do is grab my whisk, and we're going to give this a little bit of a stir, just like you would whip egg meringue. Next thing I'm going to do is make a burn noisette. So while the fish is still cooking just beautifully... Yeah, that's perfect. So the next thing I'm going to add is my sage leaves, OK? I'm also going to throw some capers in here as well. So that goes in. It's just starting to foam, yep. and that's what I want. So this can go straight on the plate. We gently do that. That's going to be so tasty. Yeah, get them capers on there, all the way down to the tail. Fresh lemons, squeeze that through. Just a splash of balsamic. And Sandhurst too are pretty good, don't they? Yeah, and just a splash. Now we're going to add a little bit of mustard in there. Mm, I love mustard. OK, and that goes in there. 
Now we're going to serve that. And that's it, mate. Wow, looks awesome, mate. We both love our flathead. And you'll love the recipe on our website. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little recipe. Now, don't forget to get over to Escape with ET. He's got his YouTube channel over there, Andrew. And make sure you subscribe. Great channel. With some fantastic fishing all the way from Brim right up to Marlin in this great country of ours. See you later, guys. See you next week.